constitutionally solid. So, and ergo, should but, be overturned. Yes. I'm not sure we need a half a billion dollars for women's health issues. I will immediately terminate President Obama's illegal executive order. We should stop the executive action. Outside legal status, country. but not citizenship. Exactly. Marriage is a man and a woman. One man and one woman. One man and one woman. We need to be stalwart supporters of traditional marriage. Hillary Clinton's campaign, they released that video today for Throwback Thursday. She's calling the candidates throwbacks because their policies she maintains out of date. So what are some of the issues um, that they basically have two audiences on? The most important one is obviously the primary audience, but could come back later to not only hurt them, but also the party. And, and listen, we're not sure what's going to get asterisk on the stage or not, but we know that social policy issues, they'll play well in a primary here, but we see gay marriage, for example, and how that plays out. Would you counsel a candidate to say, listen, the Supreme Court took that off your plate. You don't have to worry about that. Don't go there. Or do you say, hey, the audience in Iowa or the audience in New Hampshire, they want to see me throw some red meat out on this, that I'm for this or for that, even if the polling uh, says the country may be going another way. How do you handle that? Depends on what you're asking me as a as a consultant pundit, or you're asking me as a candidate? <laughs> Put both hats. What are you running for? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if it was the same answer? You know, yeah. yeah. I mean, so for me, I would say, you know, I, I, I would, I would, which I have. I sort of said something. Like, I, I express support for gay rights. I'd say this, the Supreme Court has made a decision. This issue is effectively resolved. We need to move on and address the problems that we, that yeah. we can affect. I think for some of the candidates that are looking to how do I get, you don't forget, they don't, they're not looking at how to get to 50%. They're looking to see how they get to 15% or 18% or 20%. So they're segmenting the popu population or the voters. And so they, some of them may want to appeal to a far more socially conservative audience that they think you know, it will resonate with. So it kind of depends on the candidate as to what their objective is. But I'd say from a broad stroke sense of Republican, you know, where, where the party is, um, we we're saying off camera a little bit before, I've seen polling results where more than 50% of Republicans, self-described Republicans, are in favor of same-sex marriage. 62% of Repu self-described Republicans under 30 are for same-sex marriage. So over the long run, the Republicans, you know, if you're over 65, yep. they've got a very different view. But again, their challenge is how to connect with younger voters under 50 and under 30 because that's how they're going to grow their majority over yeah. the years. But and for some people, this is a gateway issue, just like immigration But is. compare that to, mm -hmm. the, to the very large percentage of evangelical Republican supporters in Iowa. And if you're trying to appeal to that group, you really can't show soft, uh, a softer position on same-sex marriage. You have to be you know, pro-traditional marriage. You have to be for those religious So if you're Scott laws. Walker and you, you, you are focused on Iowa, you may take that view. Right. If you're somebody else that is not looking at Iowa as a... You know, if they're looking for New Hampshire as the first win, you may not be quite as fixated on right. that. Right. Nobody knows what Trump would yeah. do with I, that. I, I, yeah. I think the story right. here is the incredible chutzpah that Hillary Clinton has. Hillary Clinton, who's, who's for traditional marriage until five years yeah, ago, yeah. is suddenly the moral authority on the progressive 21st century. Uh, it's incredible. And by the way, only came out for same-sex marriage after Republican U.S. Senator Rob Portman did. Right. And so then she scrambled to And, to and Dick that. Cheney did yeah. well, 10 well, years well, ago. Well, we're going to hear <laughs> enough of this tonight. Yeah. From <laughs> <laughs> about how well, Clinton is. Well, well, to that point, Dom, I, I guarantee we're going to hear... I'll hear the words Benghazi more than a few times. We'll talk mm -hmm. about emails and mm -hmm. uh, servers, and we'll also mm -hmm. probably hear Hillary's <laughs> name. I'd expect we'd also hear Planned Parenthood, Iran. What else? Bet the house on that. Planned Parenthood. That's going to come up quite a few times. Yeah. You're going to hear immigration. Yeah. That's something where I think you mentioned Congressman feeding the beast, basically. Trump is going to give you more of that red meat. So the, the area where they're going to look to... But the, there won't be consensus on that, right? Jeb Bush is of the world. He, he's uh, going to find a way to try and make a position. He's the adult Je of the Jeb state. Bush, it's going to be very interesting. Because if Trump repeats this on stage, what do you do when your wife is a yeah. Mexican-American? You have got to stand. You don't you want to have do another. Caucus, right. You can't do Dukakis all right. with the rape thing again. Yep. You have got to do something. And if you do something, you're going to offend the base. So I, 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 he's in. The but you know what? What's the one thing you said it? People think Trump's authentic. They're waiting for that moment from Bush or whatever. For they want. I don't care what party you are. 
it's true, right? That's where Christie became popular before he went down the toilet. They believe whatever he said he really thought. So if if Bush doesn't go blue, but he gets really mad, he gets his face, he says, you're talking about my wife uh, among those millions of people you claim are all rapists here. I think the public eats up no, even if they don't agree with him. But Trump, well, Trump is way too smart for that. If that's what Bush does, he'll go, I'm not talking about her. She's a legal citizen of the United States. Next. So that, that won't work. But I, it's just going to be very interesting to see. Because the, my, the, the journalists... A lot of pressures on them as well. Mm -hmm. If you let Trump get away with building the wall and saying Mexico is going to pay for it without following up, you will be mm -hmm. criticized in every single newspaper of the moderators tomorrow. So, you know, they're all seasoned journalists. How, what are they going to do? <clears throat> if you go after Trump too much, what happens if he turns around? Remember, we're popular targets, the media. Trump has already shown he'll go after anybody and everything. What happens if you press him too hard and he turns on you? Mm. You know, these two guys say, well, what's this we came us out of here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are the media. Uh, give me another one. Give me another subject tonight we hear about. Well, I mean, I, I, I would caution the candidates not to go too aggressively on social issues like the minimum wage or Medicare or Social Security. It, it would play well among the base, but I think it, it has potential pitfalls for the general. I would also say careful going too far on, on foreign policy issues and being too aggressive. Again, would play to the base. I, I think that's one of the, the difficulties. Are you playing to the base, which I guess you have to in the primary, or do you run the risk of hurting yourself in the general? When it comes to the base, I'm not sure there's anything that, that's really off topic. Uh, you know, I, I don't think there's really any landmines out there. As long as you do it authentically and, and, and say what, the, what you think the folks want to hear. It's just a matter of not burying yourself too deep, that if you wind up being the nominee, you can't get yourself out of it. I wonder if there'll be a question about humility and temperament, mm -hmm. sp specifically about Trump, that's whether good. that gets Bush, asked. Whether that's good. Bush will, pro my, that, that's a great point, because I think Bush yeah. could proactively raise that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, when we come back, we're gonna get a little closer to our home here. Numbers, but not of the presidential variety. Cuomo and de Blasi, we know they're not BFFs here, but the numbers show one guy going way down, while the other guy's numbers are picking up a little bit, I'll let you guess who's going in which direction. We'll talk about that straight ahead.